my name is Vince and this is my partner, Amelia. I work at Galileo to create programs to help develop kids as innovators. We're here today with your active challenge. The goal of this activity is to create a working skee-ball game that has at least three scoring bins and a fun theme. The theme that we chose was our solar system because of our love of outer space. For this project, you'll need to think like an innovator and be reflective by stopping to consider how well your game is working and what you can do to make it work even better. Now let's get started. You'll need to find a large open space like a living room or a hallway. It doesn't have to be wide, but it needs to be about five to eight paces long. Next, you'll need to gather your materials. You'll need three to four soft balls, like wiffle balls, tennis, or foam balls, just not heavy balls like baseballs. Two to three large cardboard boxes, three to four containers, like clean trash cans, baskets, boxes, plastic bins, some tape, like blue tape or masking tape. To decorate and theme out your skee ball game, get some paper, some markers, and any other decorative materials you want to use. Now let's make the skee ball ramp. It needs to be in the middle of your space. Use an old collapsed box or two as the ramp and overlap them. You can use another bin or box as a brace and set that to brace the end of your ramp on it. And go ahead and tape these items to each other and then down to the floor. And use tape to connect the ramp to the brace and then to the floor. Now it's time to test our first ramp design. Stand in front of your ramp and test rolling the balls and launching them off the ramp. And this is the perfect time to be reflective. Pay attention to how they're flying. You want the balls to be able to fly up and away from the ramp for about five to 10 feet. If they're not flying that way, think about what you can change about your ramp to make that happen. Go ahead and experiment with changing the height of the top of the ramp or adding another box at the bottom and making it longer. For me, when I was reflecting, I noticed a problem I kept having. My ramp was too steep and the balls were flying up high, but not very far. I decided to go ahead and retape the bottom of my ramp so I can change the angle. Keep testing yours and reflecting on what changes you wanna make until you think that the balls are flying up and away from your ramp the way that you want it to. Once you have that happening, you're ready for the next step. Now it's time to make your scoring bins. Go ahead and grab your three to four boxes, grab your paper, markers, and tape to label your bins. I thought it would be fun to pretend that the balls were asteroids and can travel in our solar system. So I labeled my bins with our planets and I'm gonna set them in order from closest to the sun to farthest away. And we decided each planet bin should increase by 10 points the further you got away from the ramp. I only had space in the room for three planets, so I just did Mercury, Venus, and Earth. Now it's time to play. You can also adjust the bins as necessary to make it harder or easier, whatever you think is more fun. We decided after a few attempts, we wanted a little bit more of a challenge, so we moved the planet's position to try and have different places to aim at. You could also make different themes that you can play with. Maybe the bins are your favorite animals and you're trying to launch food into their mouths. It's up to you and whatever your imagination can think of. Okay, that's it for this challenge. Thanks everyone for watching. We'd love to see what you created. So if you can, take a picture or a video and go ahead and share it. Bye for now.